All right, all right, all right. What's up, guys? Welcome to day two, video two on Galactic Crypto Network. This is Coffee and Crypto, your morning jolt of financial markets, investing. We talk about all sorts of stuff here, all sorts of wild stuff here. So uh, thanks for joining in. Very uh, interesting day today. Today is April 6th, 2020. We are still in the middle of the corona pandemic. And uh, I mean, the world's just really weird, but the markets are looking pretty nice today. So let's hop into these markets. What do you think? What do you think? So uh, diving right in, Bitcoin looks like it is really, it's really looking nice on the daily, that's for sure. I mean, definitely making higher lows and higher highs. Things look like they're moving really, uh, really nicely. Man, we had, wouldn't it have been nice to get, you know, $3,800 Bitcoin? That looks really good. Let's see what we look like on the weekly. Again, looking good just uh, week after week, just really uh, moving strong. What does Ethereum look like? Let's look at the daily on Ethereum. Again, everything's looking really nice today. Man, really, Ethereum really looks like it's taken off nicely. And let's look at XRP. XRP, yeah, same. Just everything. Everything just looks like it's in a real nice upward trend. Let's look what the weekly looks like. Yeah, everything just moving forward. Let's move on to traditional equities. The Dow, even it's looking like it's, it's trying, that's for sure. The weekly, however... I mean, even it, it's, it's trying to recover. That's for sure. This whole uh, virus thing that's going around has really scared a lot of people. It caused a lot of panic in the markets, a lot of fear, a lot of uncertainty. People jump and ship, companies jump and ship, traders, you know, mutual fund companies, investment companies, hedge fund companies, you know, everybody's panicking. They think the world's coming to the end. And let's take a look at precious metals. Gold getting really close to its, to testing its all time highs again. Just, you know, just a few bucks off from testing its all time highs. That's exciting. Silver, everything, everything's just been slowly making a recovery since this whole uh, debacle went down yeah silver making making good moves on the on the weekly daily it's moving up yeah i mean look at that 11 oh my gosh i mean high 10 dollar silver i remember i first started investing when i first started investing i got my start in gold and silver and I, I, when I first started investing in silver, it was $8 per ounce. Wrote it all the way up to 40. All the way back down to 14. And man, in my, uh, in my life, I've seen it dip all the way back down. Moving into just traditional news. Goldsilver.com. If you don't, be sure to subscribe to Mike Maloney. This book right here, go, go to the website, get this book right here. This is the book that put me on the track to be a professional investor, to, to start a career as an investor, as an entrepreneur. This book right here, this book and the ideas in this book, this really radically changed my life. So go to goldsilver.com. Definitely pick up this book. You can get it on audio too, on Audible. I, I, have, I have it both. I listen to it on Audible. In fact, I'm making a trip, four-hour road trip today 
I'm going to be listening to that book in the car. But let's see what kind of news they're putting out today. And I just watched this video yesterday, the day of reckoning. So be sure to go and watch this video. Again, I will post a link in the description, but be sure to go and watch this video. It's a really good one. So Janet Yellen says second quarter GDP could decline by 30%. Wow. Gold investors finally see their predictions of doom coming true. Jamie Dimon warns of coming bad recession, repeat. $10 oil, it could happen. I mean, interesting stuff going on. What's on in the crypto? No bailouts required. Bitcoin difficulty to rise as hash rate recovers. Celsius, this was something I wanted to check out with you guys, is Celsius. If you haven't looked into Celsius, be sure to click the link in the description, my affiliate link, Celsius wallet. I love the Celsius wallet. They are paying upwards. I have some coins right now. I'm, I'm getting... Uh, you know, upwards of 7%, over 7%, seven and a quarter percent interest paid on my deposit. So man, uh, I mean, your bank is definitely not paying you 7%. They're not even paying you 1% right now. In fact, soon as treasuries have now gone to negative, it's going to cost you to have a bank account. But Celsius wallet, it will pay you interest for holding your crypto in their wallet. So be sure to click the link and support Celsius. This is, this is the future of banking. This is the future of lending. So Celsius lists Libra Challenger for 9.9% .9 potential interest. So crypto lending platform Celsius Network has listed startup Sega's SGA stabilized asset, unlocking the potential for token holders to earn, to earn interest. So be sure to go check this, uh, this article out. I mean, 9.9, .9, I mean, this is, this is better than you're gonna get in a lot of real estate investments right now. Uh, I mean, just for parking your money. And I don't know much about Sega's. I'll do, I'll do a deeper dive on Sega's stabilized asset. It's probably a crypto backed by gold and silver and a basket of other um, currencies. If it's a challenger to Libra, that's what I would assume, but I don't know. Um, but check that out and definitely check out Celsius. I'm going to be doing a deep dive on Celsius this week to share with you guys because I absolutely love Celsius. I have it pulled up on my phone right now. Um, you know, you get 3.15% by holding XRP, 5.12% by holding their Celsius native to token. It's just a really great wallet. Check it out. Link in the description. And then Coindesk, I've seen this a couple places, major crypto firms, including Binance, Civic, Tron, targeted in a flood of lawsuits. Flood of class action lawsuits were filed in New York on Friday. People probably upset because they've made investments in these different companies or coins and their investments have not turned out as they had wished. But check that article out. I'm not going to go too deep into it right now. Steam having a bit of drama still since they have forked over to the Tron network, whereas that merger continues to evolve. So yeah, all right, nothing that's just, Poloniex's new Tron powered EIO platform moves exchange closer to Justin Sun's orbit. That's interesting, I love Tron. Poloniex has launched an initial exchange offering platform that aligns the exchange more closely with the interests of Tron founder, Justin Sun. Seychelles-based Poloniex acquired by a group of investors, including Sun in 2019. If you don't know, Justin Sun is the founder of the Tron network in 2019. Said Sunday, definitely check this article out. Interesting. 
Very interesting stuff. But yeah, uh, so that's kind of the uh, outline of my channel here. Uh, again, thanks for joining me for Crypto and Coffee, where we talk about obviously digital assets, cryptocurrencies, equities, uh, commodities, just money as a whole. My mission is to help people understand investing because uh, it's really quite simple. It's simple in theory, it's hard in execution. Um, but yeah, and then also today is day two of my, uh, review on the, the, uh, mirror trading international. This is a program that I just, uh, got involved in. So definitely check out the link in the description. This program is a, uh, it's a community investing uh, type app where you eventually are pooling up your Bitcoin with other investors. And then a team of experts on the back end is investing that, uh, that Bitcoin and we all share in the profits of it. So me, I am not a trader. I am a, a, I am a, a long-term fundamental investor, but I understand the value in traders. There's a lot of tools out there to get good returns on your money. And so this being one of them. So definitely do some research on this. Uh, this is only my second day. Let me refresh this. But this is only my second day. I, um, I sent over $200 yesterday. I'm going to probably start with one whole Bitcoin. And then uh, kind of see where it goes. And then also, if you're new, that's kind of taking a long time to load. If you're new to cryptocurrency and you want to learn how to set things up, how to get started in this market, and how to find out more about how I believe you could turn $1,000 into a $1 million or more in the next two to five years, go ahead and check out my website, galactictrust.com. You can also get my free ebook at cryptoinvestorssecrets.com. Again, all the links are in the description below. Thank you so much for joining me on today's video. Feels good to be back in the studio making videos during these interesting times. Um, I will see you on the next video. Have a great day.